All right, well, hello again, my friends. We are back. Uh, hope everyone's Monday went okay after the madness is over. I know it's it's a uh, disgusting day in Cincinnati, which what day isn't with Cincinnati sports? I just really, it just there's no word for it except just collapse, choke, filth, and it's a different topic for a different time. I may have a little rant later on why this town sucks so bad, but. Uh, to see both of that and it's not even real i mean nevada can credit both teams i mean do you see nevada of course they can make one of those games but i think it was more for cincinnati because nevada florida state's better than nevada but i mean both teams had games won and, and choked that's just bottom line anyway for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today on this monday evening we're bracing for the white death late season storm here could see three to five inches coming up on wednesday i've actually i'm switching it up a bit in the back of the fridge today and i'm going i'm going light i'm going summer this will probably not get a lot of views a lot of comments it's the small town brewery now this is one that's typically i don't know if this is even a beer it's a not your mom's strawberry rhubarb folks from the small town brewery now uh small town brewery of course is uh, known for not your father's root beer that's their big big beer they make a lot of other stuff this is one of them this has been in my fridge for a while it says this beer is the perfect balance of sweet and tart with real Madagascar but on like mom's fresh pie. Every sip takes you home. Uh, brewed with Madagascar and vanilla. Uh, the beer checks in at 5.9% alcohol by volume, so 5.9 IBUs I could not get. Now, I have something that's interesting. I would just put, I have tried this, and it, yeah, I've tried this several times, not reviewed it, obviously. Uh, says so small town makes small town brewery makes specialty beers that utilize unique ingredients with an unmistakable taste of nostalgia. That's what that is. Now, the thing that I thought I feel is interesting is this brewery. The bottle says small town brewery La Crosse, Wisconsin. And I've always I looked on their website. I've always thought they were in La Crosse, Wisconsin. I just went on on tap just to kind of look around at some stuff, and that's saying Wagana, Illinois. So interesting. I'm not sure that it really matters. I'm not sure where that. Where those towns are. I thought this was in Wisconsin. Yeah, that's so I'm going to go on this. So let's go and get this open and get the party started here. I do have a treat for tomorrow night that, or Wednesday that I'm hoping to get in here and review. I thought this would be a nice mix-up. You know, I've done so many big styles lately. And, uh, you know, a lot of, several IPAs as well. I thought this would be a nice mix-up. I know a lot of people aren't crazy about this, but there it is. And I think small town is refreshing, but overly priced. In my personal opinion, you know, this, uh, the, the root beer is about $11.99, 12, 12 or 6 packing the same with this. Uh, you see if this kept the flavor. I'm not sure the bottle on date. This has been in my fridge for a while. Uh, no glass with this company. I know Brent and, Brent and his girl are going to get uh, upset, but I'll go with the West 6 on this one. Just don't have any plain plain glasses. All the plain glasses I have are just, they have logos or their, their decals I don't have. And I think they're right. I, I'm not. A, I'm agreeing with them. I just don't have any just plain pint glass. Here's the color. Oh my! What color? Oh my goodness! It pours out almost. This is going to be all sugar. My God! Look at that. Does that even look like a beer? I mean, that looks like a grape. It's a strawberry rhubarb. So you're going to get that that purple like aqua color. My God! Look at this, folks. I mean, this is. It's almost like it's a pink. It almost looks like a natty light on like the pink beer day. In February for beer awareness. There's some carbonation there. No head as we expect. My goodness. I tell you what. That is bizarre. That is bizarre. Well, that's good and cold. I'm mean, probably in the 30s. I don't know. These beers are served cold. You don't want to get these these warm. I mean, these are summertime beers. And again, I was just sitting at the house Monday night at 6 o'clock. And I do some reading here. And hit the hay early and get ready for work week. Got Monday down. I was like, you know, I got this in the back of the fridge. Let's, let's, let's just kind of take one and... Get a review of the books. I did do. I want to say I have done the. Uh, I haven't even done the root beer review. I did the not your father or not your mama's apple pie review, back last uh, last summer. I think it was July or August. So, I was going through the old archives. You don't think I'm going through archives? I want to see what I haven't done. I'll try to keep an Excel log that has gotten away from me. Uh, so let's go ahead and drink this up. Thank the brewers of small town, whether they're in Illinois or Wisconsin, either one. I. Don't think it really matters. I think I always thought it was Wisconsin, but we'll go Illinois. I guess I don't know. But cheers to them and uh, happy Monday. Here we go. Really good. It's really sweet. This is one. 
a lot of sugar. I do think it's tasty though. I think it's a good refreshing summertime treat. Uh, 5.9. I think one. I would probably have maybe two of these. I, I think it's just too sweet. and I just don't know. I mean, it, it's very tangy. I do think it's good. I think there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's, uh, this is probably a little past its prime. I would look to see a date on this bottle. Unfortunately, I don't think Small Town dates their bottles. I never really looked, you know, when I was not doing a review on a root beer bottle. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, it, this is pretty good. I, I think it's, like I said, I had this bottle. Here we go. I don't know, it's not really, it's a production code, it doesn't really say, yeah, I don't know, production code, not quite an actual, when it was brewed or best buy date, but, uh, but yeah, I think this is a good beer, uh, it does have the good strawberry rhubarb flavor, what's some more flavor here, there's the strawberry, the rhubarb, I mean, it is, it's, it is what it says it is, I think it's really good, it's sweet, it's really delicious. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, folks. I mean, it's you're you're outside in a 90 degree day. I mean, this is already a third of the way down. You see, there's it's flat. It's been in the fridge for a long time, so it's kind of a kind of a, <coughs> a dull review. But didn't get any beer. I'm already home for the night, Monday night. Nothing really in the fridge. I have not reviewed. There's some beers in there, stuff that I've not drank. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think there's nothing wrong with this. I personally would drink, you know, one and maybe two, two or three. A six pack, no way. Not in one sitting. I mean. But it is one of those beers, you know, again, Professor Dave used the term lawnmower beers. I think this would be a, a good lawnmower beer term for me. It's sweet. It's refreshing. You cut the grass. You work all day in July or August. It's 90 degrees. Pop one open. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to give the beer a C plus. I just, I can't give anything more than that because, you know, you look at it. It's flat as a pancake. There's no carbonation. The color. And it just isn't really, it's sweet. It's sweetened. It's artificial. It's flavored. It's refreshing. So I'll give it a C plus, but... You can't really go any higher than that, in my opinion. I mean, people say, oh, that's great if it's an A. That's, that's their opinion. That's fine. It's great. I just... Maybe some people say it's an F. I'm not going to say that because it is tasty. The sweetness, if you like sweet... If you like strawberry and rhubarb, just sweet flavor. I think this is your beer. Again, two, three max for me in one sitting. I think it is respectable. Strawberry and rhubarb. It's definitely crushable. And that's the thing, 5.9. It's not overly boozy, but, I mean, your standard blood's 4.2, so 5.9, you're what, 6%, but, uh, yeah, so, C plus for me. <coughs> that's going to do it, folks. Life's too short. Again, most people have had this. Most people are not even going to watch this review when they see the title, but uh, there it is. Uh, again, this is a good, refreshing summer brew. I wanted to drink this today, as we talked about, at 60 degrees. Bracing for the white death in the tri-states. Uh, again, three to five inches, a late March storm. You March, what, 21st? First day of spring is actually tomorrow night. So, yeah, first day of spring. We could see three to five inches here. I think we're going to get less, but, hey, what do I know? And uh, But I uh, hope everyone enjoyed their March Madness weekend. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it until last night. It was a great, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday with Michigan buzzer beater than yesterday. Really just, and I'm not even a huge UC. I'll root for the Bearcats and, of course, Xavier, but... Boy, it was a tough, a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, really for all Ohio teams. You know, Ohio State went down Saturday, so. But uh, that's gonna do it for me, folks. Life's too short. Try this this summer. I would buy this in June, July, in six packs. Sold everywhere. Gas station, Meyer, Walmart, Kroger. Anybody carries it. Uh, I would try. You know, get a six pack and save it for a couple weeks. It's a decent beer, and uh, have yourself a refreshing beverage. So, cheers, everybody, and we'll see you guys soon. Later.